Good morning, folks. We've got a coronal hole split, the Earth-facing solar quiet, news from beneath our feet and all the way out to Zeus. But we begin at spaceweathernews.com. We're going to find a very calm star once again. Large plasma filament remains stable north of the leading edge of the coronal hole, but the northern trailing active region did have something to say as we spread and grew and cut off the leading IMF opening. Folks, that's a coronal hole being cut in half and the quake watch is delayed 24 to 36 hours. Solar flaring is a complete joke at the moment. Earth facing quiet doesn't care what sunspots are on the disk. He'll let this one develop towards the limb out of view, and the Earth facing group lost the delta potential at the lead and is now split magnetically. Solar wind speed dropping out in yellow, so you can see the last stream is now ending, and Earth's magnetic field is all quiet. Top news from beneath our feet begins with an unusual rumble in Wyoming, well above average there. Then it was just another day in China until an enormous hole opened up in the ground. Scary moments for those standing nearby. Then we have Sentinel out of the ESA showing a 20 centimeter ground movement resulting from the deadly Italy quake. Another pass is scheduled to get finer detail there. Let's jump to the atmosphere now where Gaston is still sitting back in the Atlantic watching the twin systems nearer to land over to the west. Gulf of Mexico, eyes open, not much else to say, and hopefully the other system is indeed going to sniff the coast and then run for cooler waters. Twin Earth spots in the East Pacific as well. Both are going to take a run towards Hawaii here in the five-day run of the model. Folks, word has come in that Juno successfully hit its mark and has begun returning science data. This is the latest image. They do promise much, much more, but say it'll be a few days to downlink all the data. Excited doesn't even begin to describe it. Anyway, folks, it was North Dakota that saw the worst weather overnight. Big hail, big wind, but the storm footage from Russia earlier this week takes the cake. Roofs ripped off buildings in a major event. Folks, yesterday's Fly on the Wall podcast posted to SuspiciousObservers.org premium section. Adapt 2030 even popped in for a moment, had some great topics, and an update on the earthquake challenge. We've got your world of weather on the wind map, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.